Well, hello there. I don't know if anybody saw this today, but you know, Scott Kelly came back from the International Space Station. And just take a look at this little clip here. Uh, but it feels great. One interesting note, Kelly grew two inches during his time on the International Space Station because the spine elongates in space. The growth spurt, though, is expected to be temporary. Join now on the... So I found this very interesting because, you know, he's been up for about a year at the International Space Station and he has grown uh, two inches in his in his height. And this all came from his spine. And this little clip that you just saw, which was on the Today Show this morning, they talked about the fact that his spine has grown. And, you know, let me put that into context a little bit. The disc, when they're exposed to a weightless environment or decreased pressure, are actually designed to soak up nutrients and water because they don't have a blood supply and they actually thicken or elongate when they're not exposed to gravity. So this happens to some degree when you lay down to go to bed at night. The natural process is that the disc uh, soaks up nutrients and fluid and it gets ready for the next day and you never really know it's happening until it stops happening. You know, People who have chronic back pain, this often stops happening. We call this disc disease. It can be herniated disc, degenerated disc, anything of the sort. And when the disc stop absorbing nutrients and stop repairing at night, you actually, you know, you know it because you start having this back pain. Well, Scott Kelly has been up in the International Space Station for a whole year. And because we have 24 vertebrae, we have all these discs in there and they actually swell. And the net effect was he grew a total of two inches. Now he'll lose that height now that he's on earth because they'll all kind of shrink back down to their normal, you know, thickness, if you will but it is uh, it does increase circulation in the disc when you take pressure off of the disc and the way we help people with that is with decompression therapy so we can do as little as 10 sessions and we pull pressure off the disc with this computerized machine and that pressure uh, basically stimulates the disc to absorb nutrients and thicken and repair itself and strengthen not to the same degree that when you go out in outer space but certainly the best that we have here on earth for people who have disc disease. So I thought that was very interesting and thought I'd share it with you uh, that, you know, how the spine works, the physiology is such that when you take pressure off the disc, they actually thicken and swell. And if you have disc disease, that process is very well accomplished with spinal decompression using what we have is the uh, DRX 9000. So with that, I will see you next time. Have a good one.